Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video that I really hoped that I did not have to make, but we all knew it was coming eventually, and I'm honestly surprised that it took this long. I don't remember how long I predicted that it would last this year, but it was either May or June, and we didn't make it to June, so welcome to the, uh, the goodbye, the funeral, the final words, you know. Starting off with some basic information, a bunch of stuff that people already know, but I want to set it straight for the record, and I just want to clear up any possible misconceptions. So, the Bedrock server was shut down May 11th around 6-7 p.m., and people were like, oh, it's for maintenance, whatever. No. <laughs> Java went down, and the forums, uh, Zenforo, went down around noon on the 12th, and then the Mindplex Discord bot went down around 3.13 Eastern Time on the 12th also. So everything went down basically within a 24-hour period. And then it just never came back up again. A lot of people were speculating about what was happening. A lot of you were right. Um, it did shut down. Nothing was announced. Nobody had any idea what was going on. So in the staff discord, we were kind of talking about everything a few days ago. And Dean started chatting with us. And he basically said kind of three things. He told us that it was not a single hop or INAP issue, which is the host servers of Mindplex, because some of us have been speculating that, oh, maybe the host server is just down, and it's just a weird coincidence. No. Naive. <laughs> he said it was very much an ownership issue. Uh, from his words, he said, I want to tell you more, but I have been promised more info, and I don't want to go all out and tell you what is happening without knowing what that more info will be. And he said because the info that he does have will change how everything operates, basically. He explained that whatever happens, we're not going to get rid of the staff discord, and then he said that he would be giving the official Mindplex discord to Toki to do with as she pleases. And then at the end he said, oh well, let's try to keep it nice while we wait. I'm planning on asking for an update on Monday if it takes that long. So as of 2am on Tuesday, he has given us an update both in the Mindplex Discord and in the staff Discord by itself. I'll post on the screen and read out to you what he said in the Mindplex Discord. The announcement says, hello all. As you're all aware, all servers and the website have been down for a couple of days now. Unfortunately, I have been given the burden of informing you that this will be forever. I shouldn't need to be the one to tell you this, and I shouldn't have to. But in the end, you all deserve to know that it's over, and I suppose I'll need to be the one to do it. I wish there was more to say, I wish that things would have gone differently, and I wish we had all have had the time to say a proper goodbye to it, to give it a proper send-off. I'm sorry that it went the way that it did, you guys are passionate about this server, and it's always inspired me to want to do better even if I didn't have the opportunity to. I'll end this off by saying that I'll be giving the Mindplex Discord to Toki, who will turn it into some sort of memorial, at least for the time being. I would like to ask that you don't give her, the other admins, the staff team, or me any sort of abuse both in chat and in the DMs. We work for this company, we didn't own it, and we didn't make the decisions that led us here. Thank you guys so much for all the wonderful years, I wish you guys the best of luck in the future, and whatever you end up doing, and come say hi once in a while. So that was the announcement in the official Mindplex Discord, that's the one that publicly everybody saw. I'm also going to read off the one that he sent to just the staff team. So straight from the man himself, he says, Hey guys, so unfortunately what I alluded to in the staff casual chat a day or so ago is actually happening. Mindplex has officially shut down without informing the admin team, myself, or even Microsoft beforehand. I was waiting on the promised, more info, but after being told that, this info wouldn't make a difference to the state of the server. Every fiber of my being is screaming that I shouldn't need to be the one to tell you this, that I shouldn't have to, that we are all owed more than this. But the sad reality is that we were never respected, not even enough to warn us that this was coming so we could give it a proper send-off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it went like this. I'm sorry it has to end this way. I am boiling with rage over it. A server with so much potential, just given up on and gone. While I don't owe them anything, I thought that I should at least be the one to inform you guys and our community of this being the end. I know I say this every time, and it probably has lost its meaning over the years, but I truly appreciate every single one of you for putting in the time and effort that you have. Your passion, motivation, and work ethic has always been what's inspired me. It just sucks that we were all dealt with the shittiest hands. You're all amazing, and you'll make it far in life, I know it. Keep in touch, and I'll try to do the same. And then he said that he would announce it in the Mindplex Discord shortly. So basically moving forward, the Mindplex Discord will still be open. Toki's going to kind of transform it into what she thinks will be good for now. Um, and then we'll see what happens from there. Thank you guys so much for the journey. It's been a wild ride. Um, I've been glad to be a part of it. This has been a really big part of my life for a long time now. And it's just crazy to think like how much has changed in my life because that one person in study hall in middle school told me about Turf Wars. Matthew, if you're listening to this. This is all your fault. <laughs> but for the sake of the announcement video, what this means for the future of this channel, um, I still have a bunch of clips that I haven't set out yet. 
So I may very much be the last person to ever post Mindplex content. I have no idea. I'll have probably a monthly video going out for at least two months, maybe three. We'll see how far I can stretch them. But yeah, see you guys on the other side. Thanks for the ride.